get out, get out of this property, immediately get out. Immediately Gestapo is not allowed. Out! Do you understand English? Get out of this property. Go. So go. Go. And don't come back without a warrant. Out, Nazi. <laughs> Canadian pastor Arthur Palowski, after police and a public health inspector walked into his church in Alberta, Canada, and interrupted a religious celebration on Saturday night. That's something else. The officer said that they were trying to enforce COVID orders. The pastor says they did not have a warrant to do so. And now he's calling on Canadians to rise up against intimidation. Arthur Palowski, founder and pastor of Street Church Ministries, joins us now from Alberta, Canada. Pastor, thank you so much for coming on. It's good to see you. Well, thank you for having me. So, I mean, you know, right after all this happened, officers left the church. You had some choice words for them. I want to play just a little bit of that first. Let's go ahead and listen. Passover, the holiest Christian festival in a year. And they're coming to intimidate Christians during the holiest festival. Unbelievable. What is wrong with those sick psychopaths? So first off, talk about the church, uh, the Passover service you had Saturday night. Talk about that, what it is, and also explain what happened. Well, uh, they have been harassing us for the past 13 months, just like around the world because of the pandemic. They have uh, been coming to our church services. They have been coming in big numbers. Our yeah. record for Christmas festival is 100 police officers, 52 police cruisers. So they have been doing this intimidation harassment tactics for a while. And I've told them over and over again, do not you dare to come to our church. Do not come inside. Do not intimidate our children, our elderly, our women. Do not do that. It's against the law. It's actually a criminal offense punishable with five years jail time. And this most holiday Passover celebration during Shabbat, they just walk in like it was their house. And I was completely taken by surprise. I didn't know what to do. So the only thing I did was kick them out. Yeah. Are you, are, are, is this a Christian? Are you Christian? Is it Jewish? Can you tell me a little bit about the church? We are Christians. Christians. Uh, we okay. are Pentecostals, uh, feeding the homeless people on the streets of Calgary, and also congregate in a building. And, uh, wow. and it looks like you got some of your people behind you there. You, you have a, a group uh, yeah. of supporters. Yeah, they all came to support. Those are uh, Walk for Freedom uh, champions, freedom fighters. You sure. know, Canadians have enough. We have enough. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, more and more Canadians are rising up. More and more people are finally saying, this is crazy. They're going too far. This is not about health. This is about ter ter tyranny. Yeah. I, I think there's a lot of people in this country that feel exactly the same way, uh, especially when you look at some of the nonsensical things. You can't go into a church, but you can pack an airplane. Uh, and it's That's a reflection right. here of what's happening in this country. We can show you a little bit of this. Um, you've had uh, religious leaders have been fined, arrested, sued for holding services, breaking COVID protocol, especially really in the early days of the pandemic. Officials in your community, I understand, want stricter lockdowns and even more rules after they've seen an uptick in cases. You're telling Canadians to stand up against this. What, what should they do? Well, I have been warning Canadians for the past 60 years. As you can tell, I am an immigrant from behind the Iron Curtain. I grew up under communist dictatorship. So when this started to happen, I was yelling at the top of my voice from the rooftops, if you will. I was telling Canadians, come on, this is not good. What is going to happen is this is going to intensify. You're going to lose all your rights. The Constitution, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the police will start to invade your private properties, your businesses, your churches. At that time, Canadians were not willing to listen. But behold, now this message hits home. More and more Canadians are rising up. More and more people are coming. We have thousands of people showing up at the Walk for Freedom rally. So uh, yeah. that's a good news. My message to the Americans and to the Western civilization is Rise up, stand up. They came for me today. Be sure of it. They will come for you if you will not rise up. If you will not stand up and push this evil away, it's going to show up at your door. It's time to stand up. Yeah, it's, it's been a year. People are, are sick of being locked up, that's for sure. And this is not the first time you've been approached by the cops, apparently. Last year, you were fined $1,000 for feeding the homeless. 
Uh, Canadian conservative news outlet Rebel Media covered this story. We can take a quick listen to that. We are providing necessities of life to those that you and your bosses refuse to provide. You got all kinds of events happening trying, right now, to, and yet the Calvary's finest are not bothering There's them. No this is the hypocrisy of this city. This is the hypocrisy of <laughs> our wonderful, fearless leaders. Had a lot of police show up for that. You're out there feeding the homeless. Tell us about that. Yeah, they have been harassing us for 13 months. They are saying that uh, we are not allowed to feed the homeless people. And, uh, you know, let's take note that the people that we're feeding are people that no one else takes care of. Those are people living under the bridges, in bushes. Uh, they're not allowed in the regular shelters. So there is a choice. Either they will whack your head and they will break into your home, or ministry like mine will feed them. I have been feeding people for the past 22 years. I feed thousands of homeless people on the streets of Calgary, and the city of Calgary hates it. Uh, this incident, mm. I was surrounded by 12 officers. I was the first clergyman in Canada to receive this fine, the COVID ticket. Since then, I got 28 of them, and I guess I was told they will keep coming. That is something else. Real quick, just to end, uh, you know, some, some people would look at the crowd behind you and say, nobody has a mask on. Why is that? Because they love freedom. You see, if you want to wear a muzzle on your face like a little puppy, that's your choice. <laughs> Those people behind me are lions. They're eagles. And you know what? Uh, lions and uh, eagles are free. The hyenas are slaves. We want to be free people. They are free people. I get it. Pastor Arthur Pavlovsky. Sir, thank you so much for coming on the show. Good to see you. Our neighbors to Thank the north. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Be blessed. God bless America. Thank you so much. Stay warm up there. Got the crowd cheering too. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.